As you drive west on Highway 37, leaving Vallejo on the Mare Island overpass, you're crossing over the Napa River, where it joins San Pablo Bay at the end of a 50-mile journey from Mount St. Helena. To the south of the road is the San Pablo Bay National Wildlife Refuge, owned and managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Christy Smith, former refuge manager, gives us a brief history about the service and its mission. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is made up of approximately five different branches. The National Wildlife Refuge System is one of those branches. It has over 540 National Wildlife Refuges in it, encompassing more than 100 million acres. These refuges are found in every state, including Alaska, Hawaii, and its territories of Puerto Rico and Guam. It was primarily established to protect breeding birds. As time went on, most of the uh, refuges were developed for migratory waterfowl to protect ducks and to make sure that duck populations were maintained for hunters through perpetuity. National wildlife refuges are established with the idea that we manage for wildlife first. Over half of our refuges are closed to the public because they're located in isolated areas. You may never get to see some of those areas, but they are there to protect wildlife or habitat. They are the very core or fiber of an ecological web that covers this earth. We are located in the San Francisco Bay where in historic days this bay would be filled with every type of waterfowl and water bird and the skies would blacken with them. If you read the historical accounts, it's pretty phenomenal what used to occur here. 